Here today looking at the doing an unpack video of the Lumia 800. In market you may have already seen the Lumia 710. That Lumia 710 is the low-end entry level uh, almost like an HTC or Samsung equivalent. Um, I think the reason why I call this a ceremonial uh, unpacking is because I've already opened it up but have to say that that uh, quickly found with the device that it was worthy of an unpack so wish I had done that from the beginning but here we go um, so the opening sealed tells you that this is a knockoff it's actually Nokia pull it pull out on it it's a it's got the usual elevated device so it creates that sense of anticipation in the uh, cellophane pack you'll see a QR code kind of a micro QR code if you can see the size and aspect ratio it's about the size of that camera lens um, and uh, certainly with these phones now having you know eight five eight megapixel phone uh, cameras there's no reason why it can't be scanning those 2d codes if you, if you have to use a QR code not that I'm advocating for it but if you have to you certainly can go a lot smaller these days it looks like so the uh, Carl Zeiss Camera is one of the first things you notice right there, and some quality LED features. Look at that unibody, really beautiful. Nothing to open here. There's a permanent battery, okay, one time for life battery in it. And there is, uh, you see a nice little bevel, slightly raised on that glass there. Um, on the top here, you've got the slot for the SD card, and you also have the little slot here for the USB micro USB power in this slides over and comes out here's your SD card you need to have a micro SD card for your uh, sim chip that's your memory onboard memory is about 15 gigs uh, available 16 gig uh, probably hard uh, solid state drive in there so again going with that unibody approach and uh, no moving parts or anything else, the solid state of, of Nokia. Very nicely done. Um, down on the bottom, you have quality speaker and a couple of uh, volume control buttons, a couple of on off, and here's the lower ones, your camera switch, uh, microphone in. Okay, really simple, very simple, beautiful, elegant body. The um, Windows UX itself, I'll, I, I, can, I can do a, another unpack of that a little bit later to talk a little bit about what's under the hood there. Um, it's exactly what you've seen on any other Windows phone with the exception of you'll, you'll find a couple of Nokia um, elements, um, including the, um, including the, the uh, Nokia Drive and Nokia Maps, which take advantage of the uh, MapQuest acquisition. Anyway, the uh, obviously you can see I've already uploaded a couple of things, including um, lo logged in with my Windows Live account. One word of note, if you are logging in with a Windows Live account, uh, make sure you're logging with the, the right one. Otherwise, uh, you can only log in once. It becomes a permanent ID uh, for this phone, and it's what everything else connects to. So all these tiles... Uh, connect to that. So make sure you're logging in with the right one. Um, I made the mistake of uh, logging in with the, the, the one from our Xbox at home and, and uh, you, you want to make sure that you're going to have uh, you know all your Facebook, your LinkedIn, everything else connected to it. I'll show you why later on. Anyway, that's the first thing that you're, you're, you, you see is this beautiful phone. Beautiful, really well made, very solid feeling phone. Um, then again, sort of a a nod to, to Apple, I believe. I mean, there's a lot of uh, design here that feels very Apple-esque. Uh, you get a little uh, cover that comes with it, comes right with it. Uh, the, you know, do you need it? Maybe not. Maybe, maybe not. Uh, it's, it's already very beautiful without it. But you get a little bit of a, of a stickiness with this so that when you put it on a surface, it doesn't just naturally slide around. So it's okay, you get a little bit more stick with that. Um, underneath is another box. Again, very, very light on the information. In fact, there's a lot more product safety and legalese kind of stuff than um, quick guide in two different languages. But that's the extent of it. It's very, again, very much like Apple, which is 
uh, almost out of the box ready for you to use um, and ready to use usability. And then uh, inside the box, a couple other goodies that you'd expect, which is how are you going to power it. So you've got a power cord, you've got your microphone in um, for the hands-free. And then um, just a very nice little touch here. If you're going to do a USB plug, why not make it beautiful and nicely designed? And so there's a little whimsy in there as well. And Again, a head nod to Apple with a white frame and white, white, white uh, frame that goes with nothing else from what I can tell. All right, so that's the Lumia 800 Unbox. And um, again, great experience so far. I'll share more with the UX and usability, but um, this is a device that, although, you know, there's... There's some talk about standing on the shoulders of Apple and Android. It's absolutely at a minimum a parity product, if not even better uh, in some ways than, than the Apple OS, uh, iOS uh, devices that, that we've, we've been using. So very excited. Highly recommend. Thumbs up endorsement for the Nokia Lumia 800.